Okay, the quadratic formula. This is how you have fun in ninth grade, doing the quadratic formula. Yeah, fun. Okay, so we're gonna identify A, B, and C. So A equals two, B equals nine, C equals negative 35. So I have my A, B, and C. And remember the quadratic formula uh, is, is negative B plus or minus B squared minus four AC all over two A. This will be on the formula chart. This right here is our discriminant in it. You want to calculate the discriminant first. You don't want to type all this into the calculator. So our B is 9. Our B squared is 9 again. Minus 4AC, 2 and negative 35. And then our A is 2. Now then on your test, it may have this just set up and it may ask which one's done correctly. So make sure you can set this up. Now then I'm just going to calculate this. Okay, so this is going to turn into 81. Two negatives make a positive. And then 2 times 35 is 70. 70 times 4 is 280. So this turns into 361, doesn't it? Okay, so the discriminant is 361. Since the discriminant is positive, it has two solutions. Okay, now then we're going to rewrite this. Negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 361 all over 4. So this turned into the negative 9. I calculated this out to be 361. 2 times 2 is 4. The square root of 361 is 19. So I'm going to have negative 9 plus or minus 19 all over 4. So negative 9 plus 19 is 10. And 10 divided by 4 is 5 over 2. So x equals 5 over 2 comma Negative 9 minus 19 is negative 28. Negative 28 divided by 4 is negative 7. So these would be my two zeros used in the quadratic formula. Wow, how much fun can you have? Okay, on this one right here, we have to move over the 4 to get our A, B, and C, right? So we'll have, let me do it down here, 4x squared minus 12x and then if you move the 4 over, it's going to be plus 9 equals 0, right? So my A is 4, my B is negative 12, and my C is not 5, it's 9 in it. So i got to move this over to get my C term. Make sure you do that on your test. Now then we're going to plug in. The negative 12 goes here. And then we're going to use the negative 12 again right here. And then 4AC, so this will be 4 and 9, and then 2 times 4 right here. The first thing you want to do is calculate this. So I'm going to do this down here. Negative 12 times negative 12 is 144. And then put a, there's only one negative over here, right? So I'm going to put a negative. 4 times 4 is 16. And 16 times 9, or let's, let's do 36 times 4. 36 times 4. Wait. I've drawn a blank. So I'm going to go home, calculate 4 times 4 times 9, 144. So 144 minus 144 is 0. Since the discriminant is 0, there's only one solution. So we're going to write down two negatives makes a positive, plus or minus the square root of 0. All over 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, this goes out to 0. So 12 over 8 is just 3 over 2. So x equals 3 over 2. Basically, this parabola would look like this. And this point right here would be 3 over 2 or 1.5. It would only have one zero. Okay, right here, we have our A, our B, and our C. So our A is 2, our B is negative 12, and our C is 21. So the negative 12 goes here. Our negative 12 goes again, b squared minus 4ac. And this is going to be 2. Now then, let's calculate this. Negative 12 times negative 12 is 144. And then 2 times 21 is 42. 42 times 4 is 168, I think. Let me make sure that's right. 4 times 2 times 21. I'm right, it's 168. Notice that when we subtract, we're going to get a negative 24. 
since the discriminant's negative 24, there are no solutions because our discriminant is negative. So we would have 12 plus or minus the square root of negative 24 all over 4, and since that's a negative square root, you have no solution, which means your parabola would look like this. It would not cross the x-axis.